I love movies like that. And then you go on to... Uh, yeah, but that was... But Cloud Atlas tried to portray it in a really serious way instead of a really uh, just kind of poopy and fun kind of way. I don't mind if shit is fucked up enough that I can't understand it as long as it's sort of fun and makes fun of itself. Like, uh, Pooly Cooly. Oh. I'm gonna tell you some pretty sad news. You know how I was trying to contact Supa and ask him where the video for the original French Castle Halo 2 went? Yeah. It's gone. He doesn't have it oh. anymore, and it's not on his YouTube channel. Oh, well that's unfortunate. He said he was going to try to recreate it using DayZ. Of course, he's got an Xbox One, so I'm sitting here thinking, why DayZ? Why not Halo 2 anniversary? So, this is only encouraging me more for this summer. I'm going to get an Xbox One. I'm going to get Halo. And I invite you to come along because I'm going to try to recreate it even better on Halo 2 anniversary. Because I remember it pretty well. So I can probably do it a little better than how Super did it years ago. Given the extra technology and stuff. I'd have to think about that one because I'm kind of financially fucked for the foreseeable future. I know. I'm going to be trying to get a another job in order so I can actually cover it but damn do I want Halo and since Supa told me that I'm like man it, it has to be done it has to be remade it can't be gone because I loved watching that too damn much Monty Python and Halo is so great yeah well at least there's that French cooking video <laughs> that is <laughs> that was such a great Regarde, day Le Poulet Le carotte, le onions, <laughs> la tomate. <laughs> Back in the old days, oh, 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 it's oh, just oh. It's gross. It is gross. Well, you you can't just go in there expecting a pleasant smell. Come on, now. Like, hmm, I'm going to the fragrance sections of Bath and Body Works. Oh, I expect it to actually smell like someone could spend hours in there playing. Not like someone's gonna go there and start growing up. Where are you going? <laughs> I was trying to trick you. <laughs> I wanted to see if you would be as absent-minded about it as me. <laughs> And just keep laying down bricks for however many bricks are underneath you. So you're like, okay, keep going. Just keep on going. Well, there was this place. Uh, I can't remember if it was in my home state of Florida or if it was in Tennessee. I want to say it's Tennessee. And the place was called DZ, which stands for Discovery Zone. And it was called DZ Discovery Zone. And okay. it was the most enormous, amazing kids' playground on the inside that I've ever been to. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure really that there would be that smell there, but this place was massive, almost criminally massive, as in you could lose your kid for a majority of the day and wind up with a freaking out parent. But this was the 90s, so people were a lot more liberal-minded back then. Because we had 
we had so many uh, ball pits. We had all these tunnels and stuff. And I remember finding a way out through the ball pit and be actually able to run around the interior structure, like the, the, the building beams and all that stuff of the complex. Oh yeah, I can remember you telling me about this before, yeah. <laughs> and it was like, I, I felt like an Indiana Jones, like going in there and discovering places that no kid has ever discovered. Found a place you weren't supposed to go to. <laughs> and I wasn't supposed to go to. Yes, very much so. What, what brick is this? What brick are we using for the, the ground? Uh, oh, what is that is? Shot that one. <laughs> Sounds like we're actually being constructive <laughs> with our time. Time spent is not time wasted. Well, wait, the quote is time enjoyed. Time that you enjoyed wasting is not time wasted. Well, maybe that's somebody else's quote, but that's my quote. Time spent is not time wasted. Really? You think about it, if you spent it, even doing nothing, you still spent it. You didn't waste it. Yeah, all time is spent. Really, you can't waste time at all. It's just a physical impossibility. That's a sure way to piss off someone if you're sitting there on the couch and they're like, you're wasting time, go find a job. And you're like, time is never wasted. <laughs> Crack up the old <laughs> philosophical. And spend as long as possible making your explanation. And waste their time. Time <laughs> is not wasted because you cannot waste, waste time. time. <laughs> <laughs> there is a character in One Piece right now as I'm watching through the seasons on Saturday. Who sounds like that? And right now it's it's uh, what's her name? Robin is at uh, Annie's lobby, and there's this CP9 guy with long white hair, and he's got like a a samurai uh, tattoo onto his face, and that's how he talks. He's like, you. Shall not pass. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> and he's got this oh. like jingling golden the first three three months. Months. Yeah. weapon. Yeah, only for the first three months, and then after then they were free. Free for everyone, and I I think that people should continue to do that because it only yeah. cuts down the player base with those maps. Well, yeah, when you have to pay to play, it just cuts down how many people are even interested in playing your damn game. And really, the, the people that are gonna pay for uh, playing your game are the people that are fanatics about your game, and they're gonna pay regardless of what you fucking throw up there. Buy hats. So you just put that up, and they're gonna buy it right away. And then, two or three months later, nobody's gonna be paying for anything anyway. So you might as well make it free. Really, I would agree. And anybody that thinks otherwise just doesn't understand gamer culture. Well, there is. Uh, I'm gonna put up TNT here just so I can line this up so it keeps back into the TNT box. Oh, don't worry. I'll be there in a second with this TNT.
Well, I remember like Crackdown came out and Crackdown of course had the Halo 3 beta in it. That's why I bought it and it wound up being a really awesome game besides the Halo 3 beta. And it had DLC and it's been years since 2007. I mean, it's been eight years since then and you still have to spend money to buy them. And it's like, no, after, when you come out yeah. with your new game, I think everything from the old game should be free in order to keep a player base going from the old to the new. Like, it, exactly. as a matter of fact, like in the coming months, years ago, but they still charge, like, 40 or 50 bucks for the damn game. It's like, as, dude, it's not a new game anymore. Reduce the fucking cost of it. Well, how about this? No one in their right mind is like a game after. that old, that much. Well, instead of years after, how about, uh, like, if you're making a new installment to the game franchise, have it to be like the last three or so months of your old game's lifespan before you launch your new one. Make everything else free so that people will go and enjoy your old game and consider buying a new one. Well, yeah, it should be like a licensing law or something. Like, you can charge as much as you want for the first year that the game is out, but after that year, you gotta drop it down to a certain amount. 